oscillation of a liquid column in a U-tube. So we have a U-shaped tube of area of cross section A and we fill it with a liquid, say a water, up to height H. Okay. So let, uh, let's blow the air from this side and now the suppose water goes down uh, through Y, you see here, from B to C, P, B to D, okay. And here you see the water was initially at the level, at the point C, now it will move up to E. Now, if you check the height of the water at point E and E, they are at the same height, say they will have the same potential. But the water above F, uh, from F through C point, it is uh, height is Y, okay, from C to it, it is also Y, okay. That means from E to F, the height of the column is 2Y. Now, when I blow this air and water goes down and it raises up to Y, it is the 2Y, height of the 2Y water column, which makes it oscillate. When it goes down, the water from level E will move to the level C, but due to inertia of motion, it will not stop at C, okay? It will go to the mark F, and the water will rise up to this E dash, okay? We blow the air through one of the columns of the liquid, it will start oscillating. So the density of the liquid is rho and the area of cross section is A which is actually pi r square or we just write it at, as it A. The displacement of the liquid will be in this is was initially the equilibrium position and now it goes from B to C through Y. This is the displacement of the liquid. Now it when it moves from C to E height then D and F are the, at the same height, then the liquid column having height 2Y. This is the this is the weight, this weight of the liquid column will make it oscillate. Then weight of the liquid column uh, of height, of height 2Y, this is the height. 2Y will be Uh -huh. It will be mass of liquid, mass of liquid of height, of height this 2y into acceleration due to gravity. As you know, density is mass over volume. Then mass is density into volume, general formula. So here the mass is will be mass of the this liquid column will be rho, and what is the volume? Since it is a, it is a cylinder, the volume of this uh, this liquid column, which is in cylindrical shape, uh, will be will be a which is pi r square, and height is two y. Volume of cylinder is pi radius square into height, but here this is a area cross section and height is 2y alright for general if we generally take a, a cylinder of height h so volume will be a into 2y or mass equal to 2 rho a y then weight then weight of the liquid will be weight will be 2 rho g a y okay okay the weight of the liquid column of 2 y this force provides uh, the restoring force in the liquid so restoring force restoring force will be negative times 2 rho g a y okay so this weight is uh, provides uh, provide the restoring force negative sign it is just opposite to the weight of the liquid this restoring force okay now let's check the 
total mass of water in the liquid mass or what we say weight mass of liquid just to calculate the mass of liquid in YouTube okay so again mass is will be equal to uh, density into volume mass density is rho and the volume of this YouTube column of height h from this height actually then this height both the liquid is in both the column both the both the, both sides so it will be uh, 2h into area of cross section right m is 2 rho a h now it will accelerate it will accelerate this liquid will accelerate when it oscillates it has acceleration so by Newton's law it is mass into acceleration it will be equal to restoring force so this force which we are call restoring force it will make it oscillate okay then the acceleration of this oscillation will be minus 2 rho g a or m times y but m is here you can place the value of m below this so we get minus 2 rho g a y or 2 rho a h so you will see 2 rho g 2 rho and 2 rho will get go area cross section will go then we will have this it will be minus g or h times y ok and this g or h is a constant and it should be constant because g is fixed and h is also fixed let uh, this g or h be omega square right then we will have this equation y double dot will be minus omega square y and you see this acceleration is proportional negative times y so this is simple harmonic motion okay time period of the oscillation since uh, we have seen this uh, acceleration negative and displacement so this is simple harmonic motion motion of liquid in U tube is a simple harmonic motion let's calculate the time period since we have put omega square is g over h then omega will be under root of g over h but omega is uh, 2 pi over t so 2 pi over t will be equal to g over h under root times taking reciprocal time period will be 2 pi under root of h over g so this is the time period of the liquid in u tube okay 